What's going on people, it's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today we'll be going over how to allow a user to select a workbook and then have code that finds a particular sheet and then copy and paste the data from that sheet into another workbook. So let's get into it. Alright, so let's get started with our code. We'll call this sub pool sheet data from another workbook and I actually have a workbook like a test file we'll be using so let's just take a look at it before we dive in so it's just a file that has multiple tabs and um, each tab or each sheet has um, data pertaining to a particular region so what we're going to do is use our macro to find the correct tab name and then pull that data into the workbook and if it doesn't find that tab name to alert the user that that particular tab isn't in the workbook all right so let's declare our variables file picker file dialog and then um, my path has string we're also gonna count the tabs so in the other workbooks so we're gonna have a tab count that's gonna be an integer and then we're going to count the rows and the columns in that other workbook we're also going to have a variable I because we're going to be using a for loop and then we're going to use WS as this worksheet here also we're going to have SH which is going to be a string. It's going to be the string or the, the sheet name from the other workbook. And then I think we're going to need like a tab name. That's going to be a string. And then like a check. So a tab check. And that'll be an integer. So it's a lot of variables here, but um, we're going to work, them, work through them. So let's start off by setting our worksheet equal to this workbook and then we want to reference the sheet here so we'll just call it sheet one but uh let's also set the file picker equal to application file dog uh, sorry file dialog and then we're gonna do MSO file dialog file picker and just to, let's just be precise let's so let me um, let's change this to data here but I could I could leave this as one if I wanted to it do the same thing because there's one sheet so no matter what I name this tab this will still be referencing this sheet um, so now with the file picker I have my title which is going to be please select file oops quotation and then I'm gonna have my allow multi select we're gonna make that false so the user will only be able to select one file but name we'll set that equal to confirm and then if show equals negative one so show can only be negative one or zero. If it's negative one, that means the user selected a file. If it's zero, 
the user didn't select a file. So if it's negative one, that means if the user selected a file, then we're going to store my path as the selected item. Otherwise, we'll just end the macro. All right, now we can end the width. So, before we start anything, let's make sure that whatever is here gets cleared. So if I put a bunch of stuff here, just to test, I wanna go ahead and clear any previous data. And WS is all we need to write because we set WS equal to this workbook and then this sheet in particular. So we'll clear the contents. And then what we're gonna do now is open the other workbook, the workbook that we selected with my uh, my path. So we're gonna do workbooks open, file name, colon, equal sign, my path. And now we'll pick our tab name. So there were a bunch of different tab names on the other one. I think one of them was Oceana, so let's use that as our first example. And then our tab count is gonna be equal to sheets count. So this is just counting the sheets in the other workbook. And then our tab check. So we're gonna be checking to see if we get a hit. If there's no tab named Oceana, then we don't. We want to check to make sure that that's true. So we're going to start off with zero. If there is a match, we'll change it to one. And you'll see as we uh, get deeper into our code. There's not too much left. All right. So now let's do our for loop. So for i equals one to tab count. Next i to close the loop. And inside of the loop, we're going to have if sh. So our sheet. So if the sheet, no, sorry, let's go ahead and do this first. So we're going to set sheet equal to sheets I name, right? So what this means is SH, our variable SH is a string. And we're setting that equal to the current sheet at that given time in the other workbook. So as I goes from one to the number of tab counts, right? So like if the other workbook has five tabs, this is going to be equal to five. So it's going to loop five times and each time it'll go to each of the different tab names. So if SH is equal to our tab name, the one that we picked out, then sheets tab name so at this point we're referencing the other um, workbook that we're opening we're going to activate the sheet in the other workbook and then we're going to count we're going to count the rows and the columns so we're going to have a worksheet function count the, the range it's going to be a1 Because the rows are going to be counting down. So XL down. One, two, three. All right. And then to count our columns, we're starting in the same point, cell A1, but we're going to be counting to the right. So XL to right. Now, so let's let's just throw some com comments in here. So allows user to select file and um, 
clears previous data. Opens. Selected. File. Counts. Sheets. And. Chooses. Sheet. To pull. So that all happens here. And then here, find sheet, determine range, and copy paste data. All right, so so now we're going to copy and paste. Range cells one one. So let me pull up the other sheet just so we can see what we want to do here. All right. So this would be Oceana, and we're going to start in cell one one. And what we're going to do is do cells. Row count, column count. So it's going to be grabbing all this data here. We're copying it. And then we're going to paste it here. So we need worksheet, cells, 1, 1. And we can go ahead and do like a paste special. So we'll just um, paste the values. Colon equal sign, Excel paste values. All right. And then we'll, we always got to turn off the um, cut copy mode. So application cut copy mode equals false. All right. So now when this happens right so when we do find a match we're gonna set our tab check equal to one and then we're gonna set I equal to tab count that way say you had a, a file with a lot of tabs and it found that first tab really really early instead of having to keep looping through the entire for the rest of the tabs if you make I equal to tab count, it'll exit the loop immediately because you're only going from I equals to one to tab count. So no matter when it finds the actual tab, if it finds it, it'll automatically set it to tab count the max so it'll exit the loop. So we do that and let's end our if. All right, so at this point, we wanna close the active workbook, the one that we selected, and that's without saving any changes. And then our check, right? So if the tab check is equal to zero, that means we didn't find a match, so we never change it to one. It's still zero at this point. If that happens, then we'll just relay a message. So we'll do message box, the file you selected does not, does not contain a sheet named, and then we'll use our sheet name, right? So our tab name. Ampersand underscore, go to the next line, and then I'll do quotation, period, and then space. Please try again. Okay.
So we can end this if. All right, and let's see what happens when you run this. So it's asking us to select a file. It says, please select file here. And then if I click on the file, you see it says confirm. So I will confirm. We got an error. What's going on? Okay. Oh, I spelled workbook wrong. Sorry about that. Should be good to go now. Let's try again. Boom. Got all the Oceana data pulled over. Um, let's try this again, except let's do a different tab. Um, I think there was an Asia tab. Let's run it. Got it. And you see how there's a lot of noise, a lot of stuff running in the background. We can easily turn that off by using this feature here. Um, application screen updating. We'll make that false. And then do the same thing on the bottom. But we'll make it true. We'll turn it back on at the bottom. Okay. So that way, it'll eliminate all the noise while the macro is running. So let's try Africa this time. Just like that, without all the noise. And I think there was also a Western Europe tab. Boom. All right, so let's try it when there's no tab that exists. When we, uh, so I'll just put anything in there. And you see we get our pop-up. The file you selected does not contain a sheet name. Please try again. And then we get our data cleared. So yeah, that's all I have for today. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.